Hello YouTube, this is Pop Culture Hero giving you a review of Nest Global Alliance Battlefield Bumblebee and Soundwave. Now here is the manual with some products listed, very standard, but more importantly the back cover has your order form for uh, the Mail Away Ravage. Um, and here I've already applied one of my stickers. It's really good. And you also get this um, cool badge as a bonus iron-on badge, but um, interesting other thing is that now environmentally friendly twist ties. Moving on, Bumblebee. Bumblebee is a repaint of Canon Bumblebee, but with the battle mask head. Um, previously seen on Stealth Bumblebee and Premium Bumblebee a while ago. Over a year ago, actually. Uh, maybe two years. It's been a while. Anyway, so the battle mask and has flip out cannons. Very nice. And they have a bit of paint on them that helps them stand out better than on the regular cannon bumblebee. I think the orange really helps bring out all those little grooves and details. He's a very poseable figure uh, with, um, with the thumb joint and everything. Um, just all the cannon bumblebee articulation. Moving on to vehicle mode, we've got it rolls really well. Yeah, I am on a glass case here, so friction is kind of a bummer, but you know, it's a good looking toy. Very glossy and it holds together very well. I'm impressed with how well it holds together compared to the previous bumblebees uh, molds. And it's actually easier to put together once you figure out the trick than the previous Bumblebee mold. Uh, you can also pull out the cannons in this form. I like this a lot because the way the video game Autobots, um, more so in the 07 movie game than in the 09 movie game, had to pull out cannons in their vehicle mode. So this is a nice way of integrating that. And I can see why they'd have to reduce the space. Uh, previously these cannons were pretty wide, but they were retooled and now they're much thinner in this final version. So, yeah. And that's just to make it easier to pull them out. And the orange really does help again, like I was saying. And there's a little view of the bottom. You saw that earlier, but let's start transforming it. The doors do open, which is another feature for the car mode. Very cool. And now we open the legs. Flip down the legs. These are the same legs as on the regular Bumblebee, so just basic automorphing uh, as you pull down the shin guards and the wheels and the back windows. Um, rotate into place automatically on the gears. Now this you just flip the wheel around and the arm goes on the outside. Very simple. Uh, you got This is a bit of a struggle and it's probably the most fragile piece on the vehicle is trying to figure out how to t untab this front window from the back section. Once you do it, um, the back section is just like three hinges, which are just to make a sub backpack. Okay. Almost got it. And once we've got that unhinged, then. Good. Okay. Now just get the blue window down, and this is the very critical part of the transformation, and I'm sure you'll get hung up on at least once. Um, is that once you have this blue window down, flip this tab up. Make sure your cannons are in, because the cannons can block this piece from coming out and this will allow you to get the assembly for the large assembly 
this is critical that you get that yellow piece to come out so you can flip the wrench to, to unlock the front section of the, of the robot. Really. And on to Infiltration Soundwave with his Ravage Missile. Uh, kind of just a spring-loaded function. Goes in the backpack like that. Nothing much. Okay. Now this is a really poseable figure, but there's one main reason to choose it over another sound wave, and that would be for the light piping. Yes, it's the only sound wave with red light piping due to all this clear red plastic, and that is the definitive sound wave eye visor color. So that's really cool. Uh, sound is really poseable, and the color really fills them out, un because there are a lot of colorful Decepticons, mainly thanks to the Constructicons, and Megatron has, um, well, the Voyager Megatron has a uh, very full color palette, whereas the original Soundwave had, um, the original gray Soundwave had more of a problem having a full color palette. That would go well on a Decepticon shelf. Here he is in his Revenge of the Fallen alt mode, and it is a big alt mode when it's transformed correctly. Yeah, really wide with these uh, blades, which are red because of the re-entry style that they're going for with the heated re-entry uh, satellite. Apparently coming down from from orbit to engage in battle with Bumblebee, who is in this form at least. Um, he is taller than one will be. Even with the blade on the ground. Alright, so transformation back to robot mode. Uh, just because it's more dynamic to show you the transformation back than for me to fiddle with it. Uh, getting it into this form. Flip down that plate, which reveals the face for the robot. And hand in the way. Alright, now we undo the legs, which un which are on ball joints, and, the and also the arms, which are on a big socket joint up top. It's very clever how they peg into place. Undo the chest. Very, this most, a lot of people do forget this step, I've noticed, um, including professional photographers. So, you've got to change that chest. Nice Magus XLR kind of uh, crests with the yellow. Uh, that doesn't seem like it has much to do with heated re-entry, but then they, with the yellow, but you know, it sort of seems like tuner paint, like tuner mud flap. Uh, why am I mentioning mud flap? Okay, moving on. Uh, you can see all the red plastic really looks awesome. Uh, the clear red plastic is just dynamite here on these panels and the shoulders. We're almost there. You just basically you're posing it um, to get the legs out. Here I'm just adjusting the feet, getting the spikes to form a heel spur. And there is a nice function with the backpack in that you can align all of these satellite bits to cover the alt mode robot head. Pretty simple. There's no other purpose to these hinges other than to cover the alt mode head. That's pretty cool. And I think it's really the definitive sound wave for a Revenge of the Fallen shelf, even in the Nest Global Alliance line. So look forward to more Nest Global Alliance reviews. This is Pop Culture Hero signing out.